For most of us living in the developing world, it's quite obvious to have uh, full access to electricity, to drinking water. It's not an issue for us. But over two billion people living in uh, developing countries have no access to electricity or to fresh drinking water. The Ilatelot project started in 2007, around eight years ago, when we came here to the north part of Sahara Desert, calling the Ilatelot region. We have sun, we have desert, the area is a rural area, and we thought that the right thing to do six years ago is to develop the renewable energy, hopefully to get to energy independence 24-7 day, not depending only on the grid. We started putting here solar panels as in all over the world, and right now we are having 80% of the electricity needs of this region in daytime. Now we have the challenge for nighttime. Taking all those challenges, storage, energy, independence, we promote it, we leverage it to a whole project, a hub of renewable energy. We are called the Silicon Valley of Renewable Energy in Israel. We decided to set up a hub for testing, demonstrating and developing appropriate technologies for off-grid communities. We're going to set up a mock-up village and this village will demonstrate an integrated solution whether it's in a community scale or whether it's on a domestic scale for providing those essential uh, services, water and electricity. That's going to be one pillar, but the more important pillar is going to be the work this hub is going to do in the actual communities. It's going to collaborate with those communities, identify the exact needs of, those, of this specific community, and then implement our integrated solution into those communities. We're going to use our know-how that is combined of high-tech grand solutions, but also know-how of the simple solutions. We're going to combine this know-how in order to provide a solution that is suitable for so, such communities. It has to be cheap, it has to be simple to operate and to, to, to set up, to operate and to maintain, and it has to have long life uh, lifespan. To take all the knowledge and bring into the least developing countries, it's a win-win situation for us to develop, to know, to understand, to have a new interest in the world of technology and sustainability, and for those that we can come to in Africa, to try to have a new horizon, a new way of life. I know it's a wishful thinking, but we want to try to do that. It's important for us, it's important for the world. Mm -hmm.